Peace be to all. Assalamu alaikum. On my abdomenic physician, assistant, doctor of health education, moderately fit middle aged athlete, and family man. So, this evening I thought I would talk to you all about the value of physician assistance in the healthcare field. Now, I've been a physician assistant for approximately 25 years, and uh, before that, I was a nursing assistant for eight years uh, whilst earning my various degrees, my undergraduate in biology, and then my uh, degree in PA school. Um, I did not know about being a physician assistant. I didn't quite understand what that entailed before PA school. And then I did research on it and I shadowed a PA. And I really became greatly enamored with the field. I saw it as a way to help and to assist with the shortage of physicians and general practitioners in this country, you know, at least in the U.S. And we have a lot of nurses that are retiring. My mother is a retired nurse. Um, there are young people who don't want to go into fields like nursing and, and medicine even. And it, it even takes a long time for a person to become a doctor. I've got some students who are following me now in the, um, in the private practice where I work, they're pre-med students. They're in their junior year. They're only 20 years old. They still have another, almost another 10 years before they become fully autonomous attending physicians. I will be retired or possibly dead. <laughs> you know, many of the, the doctors with whom I work will be retired and or dead. You know, many of the, um, the doctors who trained me are retired and are dead. So there, there are just simply not enough physicians to meet the growing needs of, of our patient population. In the private practice where I work, most of the patients are my age or older. So they're in their mid-50s, so they're, they're aging middle-aged people to people well in their 80s. And this is the, uh, the wave of, uh, the gray wave as we call it. So this large population of baby boomers and then this even larger population of aging generation Xers like me. I'm, I'm four years removed from 60. I'm 56 years old now. I'll be a, I'll be a bona fide senior citizen. So there's got to be a number of people going in to medicine who are going to become doctors to uh, meet this need of, uh, of people with age-related illness. And the fact of the matter is, is that it, it takes so long for a young person or even a middle-aged person to become a doctor, it's about it's about 15 years. You know, if you throw in, you know, various specialties, so it's a, a fellowship or two. So you know, it, it's what are you going to do in the meantime? Well, we PAs, I think, are well suited to kind of meet that need. It, it's in our name, physician assistant, or if you like, physician associate. I, that's what I do. I, I work in conjunction with my supervising physicians in my various jobs. I'm a hospitalist PA. I also function in the capacity of nocturnist, so I do night shifts at a hospital. And then I'm here in a private practice. I'm very proud and humbled and honored to be able to serve in that capacity. So it, it takes a lot of knowledge. It's certainly not the same depth or breadth as those who have completed full training to become a medical doctor or, or a doctor of osteopathy. But I'm, I'm proud and humbled to be a physician assistant. You know, it did take um, you know at least my undergraduate four-year degree and then then um, two years as a uh, physician assistant. I don't think that we should have full autonomy based on our training. But I have as much autonomy as I need. I'm able to see the patients, manage their illnesses, and you know, with my my doctorate of health education, I'm actually a big advocate of trying to to um, educate people to not get preventable, you know, not to get the, uh, the illnesses that can be prevented. So type 2 diabetes mellitus, you know, hypertension, high cholesterol, you know, obesity, you know, a BMI of, of over, over 30. And I, I was there, you know, I was somebody who, who suffered from some of these things. And I reversed it with lifestyle management. Of that being exercise and, and diet. I didn't have to take any hydrochlorothiazide or Lipitor or any of the stuff, metformin for, for diabetes. I was pre-diabetic. 
you know, so it, it took a lot of discipline, but uh, part of that is health education. So even if you have these diseases, you, they can be managed with health education. So that's part and parcel. Well, I kind of use my my other career as a, as a health educator and that knowledge as a health educator in conjunction with my medical training as a, as a PA. Uh, it's I think it's um, a boon to the healthcare community. Uh, not all doctors may may agree with me, but that's okay. And not all patients may agree with me. It's a free country. You can go where you want if you insist on seeing the doctor. You know that that may take a day or several days, but in the meantime, maybe a PA will suit your needs. And I think that um, in this country, you know, in, in the U.S. anyway, there's going to be a, a, a larger population where there's about 350 million of us now. But um, I think 350 million um, uh, Americans that are at least accounted for. So somebody's got to be able to help meet those health care needs. And I think that um, uh, we PAs are, are well suited to at least help do that. That's it for now. If you want to be a PA like me, it's a great profession. It takes a four-year undergraduate degree then applying to PA school. That's one year of didactic training where you take your courses in anatomy, physiology, uh, clinical chemistry, pathophysiology, that kind of thing. And then you do another year of rotations and various clerkships, so specialties, internal medicine, OBGYN, um, surgery, emergency medicine. And you know, you'll, you'll find most of us PAs in private practices and in the hospitals, which, which I think uh, we, we shine and, and, and help to take care of people. All right, that's it for now. If you want to uh, be a PA, feel free to contact me. You can reach me by email in the, uh, I'll leave it in the description. Take care. Peace.